The Platform 2 is a long-awaited sequel to the 2019 Netflix film from Spain, which follows the allegorical concept of a dystopian society set in a large tower-style vertical self-management center. Its residents must every month switch between its many floors and are fed via a platform, which initially filled with food at the top, gradually descends through the tower's levels, stopping for a fixed amount of time on each floor. The system inevitably leads to conflict, as the residents at the top levels get to eat as much as they can, with the level only getting the leftovers from the previous ones. The director, Galder Uritia, says the film's key message is that humanity will have to move towards the fair distribution of wealth. With an exploration of the importance of individual initiative in driving political change, that critiques both capitalism and socialism. The film's script is based on a theater script written by David Sola and Pedro Rivero, to which more action and physical elements were added to make it more suitable for a film. Extensive rewriting was also required to convert the unproduced theater script into a film script. The director said it was a torturous ordeal, as the writers defended their artistic vision and did not want some of the changes to be made. Now, I thought the first platform was honestly a pretty interesting film. It's a movie that plays with its concept and its visuals and its story very well. You have this story of people trying to survive in this platform. You get a little bit of the backstory. It's a really simple movie with basically one setting, but it is entertaining because you are learning about this world and you are interested in the survival aspects. These people have to keep eating, but the people at the bottom don't get as much food. So you're kind of hoping that they get to be at the top level where they're going to be getting more food. You're kind of rooting for the protagonist and it does a great job at putting you in the character's shoes. The Platform 2, however, is not as great as a movie, and it failed with both critics and it getting views, mostly because it's a total mess. It takes what initially was an interesting concept and it flips it on its head. The movie is about a rebellion within the platform. It isn't playing with the tools it once had that made the first movie great. A reason I, like so many people, liked the platform back in 2019 was it had a fun visual premise, as well as a story behind it that worked at generating suspense and expectations. What made the platform great, and what makes it work, is you wanna see how it turns out. You wanna see what will happen and the what-ifs of the situation. It's why the survival genre mixed with dystopia is so great. You have this spin on survival. It could just be a simple trap, but the addition of levels upon levels of people and loads of food makes for an interesting metaphor for classism and social hierarchies. And in this film, The Platform 2 fails as a sequel because it forgets its executive function, which would be to deliver on the action and concepts people came to expect from the first movie. This movie doesn't even have a cool hook. It doesn't have an opening where you see the platform being used in a different way other than the first movie used it. The movie just introduces some new rules, such as everyone orders a single dish, and you can't have what you don't order. Where in the last movie, you kind of just took whatever you want, and you kept any food, you'd be killed if you did that. And this movie is kind of missing that. If we get down to it, it's missing the simplicity of being trapped in one location and trying to overcome the obstacles of the situation. Because the movie is kind of bloated and unnecessary, it features this theme of rebellion, which is fine in theory, but in practice, it's kind of the boring. Most of the movie features a bunch of random people who we don't even really feel a connection to explaining the new rules of the platform, and it's just not that interesting. It's not interesting because nothing is at stake. They're arguing over food, and yes, there is action. People rip out bedposts from their bed frames and fight each other with it. But there's no sense of building tension. It's not like someone loses their food and then they go to hunt everyone down, or there's more threats if you try to escape, or another punishment for stealing food. Yes, people do hurt other people when they take their food, but it really just feels more drawn out. It doesn't feel like this is something that exciting and that, oh shit, someone took their food, they're gonna die. Like our main character, spoiler alert, kills himself halfway through the movie because he took someone's food and knows retaliation is coming. But it's not like you get to see this or feel the suspense that something bad might happen. It just feels like everything's told to you. When things are told and not shown, it's boring. The movie would, in my opinion, be a lot better if the platform itself was reinvented, but it's something they didn't do. Like, what if you overstay your welcome and the platform skips a couple stops, then you have people who are angry they didn't get what they ate and are trying to lead a rebellion themselves? Like, what if just a couple random people get punished? That would be interesting. What if also the platform itself, like the dynamic of it, is changed? What if the platform looks different? What if they added something to it? I mean, there's just so much you could do. Like, maybe a glass cage that only opens over certain people's foods. I kind of do like that they kind of have to go with this rules that they've established, but it's just so boring this time around. Because, as you have it, it's a bunch of random guys who are already in the movie trying to fight about the system that's in place. It's not like the platform's doing anything new or different, or there's a new system in place, at least one that's notably changed. The platform, too, could be a lot better. It needs stronger characters and stronger situations. 
It suffers from several issues, the first being the setting is just really dull. We're in this concrete block, which the first movie also subjected us to, but there's just less tension because of how much dialogue there is and how little is affecting the story. You can have dialogue in your films, it's just people only talk because they're explaining things and talking about what's to come or what happened. They aren't talking about the moment. This could be a time capsule thriller like Cube or Saw where there's a ticking clock and people have to escape, where they're trying to get the top, to the top floor and have a goal and purpose. Additionally, there aren't any new threats or changes made to the platform that make it so much more fun to watch this time around. I think the first one was just better because it was simpler and easier to follow. This time around, it's got so much explanation and not enough action, and it becomes boring. A good comparison is the movie Snowpiercer, the movie from 2013, which has a very similar concept. People in the back don't get anything good. People in the front have the best life on this train that circles around the globe. The difference is how Snowpiercer expands its plot and fleshes out its setting. It keeps getting bigger. You keep seeing the changes. You keep seeing the different parts of the train and how people in the back are treated terribly. The people in the back work so the people in the front can live perfectly. I think this movie is just missing that concept. There's also a really great film called High Rise with Tom Hiddleston, which deals with a similar concept. This movie just needs more contrast. It needs to show the other side of the platform, how people are living outside. It would feel bigger. Platform 2 is so stuck in place the whole time, you aren't getting anywhere. You aren't meeting characters with cool backstory. People tell things that are quite horrible, yes, but characters only appear for like five minutes and die. It's not like what they're saying really registers. In Snowpiercer, though, you meet all these people and you hear their horrible backstories and you really feel like, oh shit, this is terrible. But in the Platform 2, you just don't get that because they don't feel like characters. They just feel like they're plot devices telling things important for the story. What I'm getting at is, in the Platform 2, you just don't have interesting characters, the setting is boring, and there's not enough action. Therefore, this movie is pretty boring. It really needs to expand its setting, expand its plot and characters, and I think it could just be so much better. So let me know what you guys think of the Platform 2. I really was hoping it would be good, but it wasn't that entertaining.